It's Wednesday the 14th of October, I'm Lee Wilde. Traffic was brought to a standstill during rush hour in Ashton yesterday as Thameside taxi drivers staged a protest. Organisers said they were protesting over what they perceive as the council's unwillingness to listen to issues that they've brought forward over the past three years. Thameside Council's Executive Member for Transport, Councillor Peter Robinson, said the council wants a good taxi service and a good relationship with drivers, however drivers do not help their cars by mounting this sort of disruptive action. He also said that Thameside Council's policies are in line with other authorities. A man has been charged after a police community support officer was knocked over by a car in Stockport. In late August, police had been called to the junction of Spring Gardens and Waterloo Road in Stockport after a PCSO was hit by a car whilst assisting with traffic build-up caused by a crash. 22-year-old Cole Lucas was charged with dangerous driving and appeared at Stockport Magistrates Court last Monday. He's due to appear at Manchester Crown Court on the 26th. A new computer system is to be installed at Stepping Hill in a bid to improve safety and care for patients. It means doctors and nurses will be able to get up to the minute information about a patient's progress. Details of treatments, medications, allergies, tests and scans will also be easily accessible. This is the first time there will be one hospital-wide system for the whole of Stepping Hill. And finally, Trinity Church in Ardenshaw is holding a coffee morning on Saturday from 10 till 1. All proceeds will be divided between church funds and the North West Air Ambulance. There will be various stalls including homemade cakes and bread, jewellery, handbags and scarves. Admission is a pound. You can read more on all these stories in the Tameside Reporter out tomorrow and you can stay up to date on all the latest local news at InsideTameside.com.